it's Monday, we're in the truck, which means we can fill her up. I also have the trailer. This could be a dangerous, dangerous thrifting <laughs> trip. We're actually um, gonna go to the feed store and pick up some hay for Buttercup, and we also need to get some like mulchy type dirt to put on top of our beds, so that's why we have the trailer. But um, yeah, excited to go to the thrift store this morning. We'll take you along and show you what we buy. People are still waiting in line, so we got here not too late. All right, we're headed in. The race is on. Are you headed to the yard? <laughs> Hurry, run, run. Oh, that's a pretty vase. Shannon Crystal. I'm gonna pick that up. I love the scalloped edges. This candlestick is cute. $1.50. Definitely picking up this clock is cute. And look at the little bunny. Way cute. I like the owl. Can't leave that behind. That's so cute. Okay, sounds good. I gotta have that. A little book box. That one's actually cool as is. I'm gonna pick that up. It's got a little mark there, so we might wind up painting it if we can't get it off. Let's see if there's anything in the glassware. Oh, a little copper bowl. That's kind of cute. So this probably dates me, but I love the Berenstein Bears. So I'm picking up this mug. And then, love is homemade. Look how cute that is. I'm gonna pick that one up too. It's a pretty basic easel. Looks like I might even have to do like maybe a different bolt or something in there. That's not very good looking. So I'm looking for, is that too small? So that's too small. Oh, that might work if I do a vertical like that. Oh, we'll see. I like this frame, so I'm going to get that regardless. It's $2. That one's brand new. I think all painted up. That could be the right fit. Two bucks. I did some quick thrifting, and I think I've got some stuff I'm unsure about. This is a really big birdhouse. It's kind of cool, but not 100% on it. It's not exactly straight like I would want it to be with the base. Might have to redo that. Do like the topiary. This is $10, I'm on the fence. It's some great uh, architectural detail piece, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or what it's for. I might leave it here. I thought this was a cutting board. It was hanging out underneath here. Pulled it out and it's like some sort of wall hanging with the heart. That's gonna be too much to make into a cutting board at this point. It's just a blank piece of wood with a hole in the back. This really isn't anything special except for it'd be super cute painted. So I'm gonna pick it up because we haven't done boxes in a while and a lot of them have been selling in the shop. $1.50, the price is right. Cutest little salt and pepper shakers. Look at that. I'm gonna get these. I always love these doves. They look so cute painted. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Maybe I can find another one. Usually there's like two when you find them. Oh, look how cute this nativity is. It's missing the baby Jesus. I'll see if Seth picks it up. I'll leave it there. If it makes it in this video, then you know that he bought it. So I passed this once. I think it's cute as is, but I actually think possibly painted it could be cuter. Like paint this and then do like some pink flowers. I don't know. I'm gonna buy it for buck 50 because you need more chairs in your life. Okay, so listen to me, listen to me. We're gonna leave them as is, because I like the aged wood, and then just recover the seats, yeah, the done. Velvety, red. Not yeah, I think they're kind of more primitive looking, so put some grain sack, they're gonna be good. So how much did we spend, Zeb? 80 bucks. 80 bucks. And two chairs. And two chairs, which was $30 of it. So without the chairs, it would have just been $50 even. So I'm saying that's pretty good, and Super excited. I saw this globe in somebody's cart and I was sad that I didn't catch it first and then they left it at the checkout. So for $1.50, it's got a little bit of scuffing, which I don't hate. And it's got a drawer. How cute is that for $1.50? So that was really fun. We actually saw a lot of the regulars that are our friends. Our neighbors from next to the shop came. We didn't film them because they don't really like being on camera, but they picked up some good stuff. And we're gonna head over to IFA get buttercup some hay and some dirt for the garden. 
Yeah, you need your top. Jamie's not happy with the topsoil. The garden is not performing. She's gonna whip it into shape. It's not performing as expected, so we're gonna need some extra help. Um, and it's gonna get hot, so you wanna have like the mulchy, thick soil on top. It holds the dirt in, or holds the moisture in. And then we'll head over to the Saratoga Desert Industries and see if there's any scraps left for us. We'll see. Seb's getting Buttercup's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We can watch them arranging the hay on the rear view camera. <laughs> this camera is so good. Like if somebody's behind you, you can see what color their eyes are. Here comes the soil into the trailer. So the hay's in the back of the truck and then we're putting our extra brown mulchy soil in the dump trailer. And then we'll just wheelbarrow it on the beds when we get done thrifting today. IFA really is the best. Their people are so sweet. I actually wound up also picking up a few more plants. I feel like that happens. You go for dirt, you come home with some tomatillos, some more strawberries, and some sage. Had to make a pit stop for some peppers. Home Depot had them for $2 each, except for that one was five, but I wanted that variety. We have some coming up in the garden, but these ones will work. If you want to see us planting and more of our garden, check out our Jamie and Zeb vlog channel. It's more of our homesteading lifestyle channel. I'll drop a link below. We're headed to the thrift store and it's roundup week. So they've got all the flags out and people have started setting out their chairs for the parade that's not until Saturday, so. It's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. People have already started setting out some of their chairs. There's some like way over there. We're at Desert Industries in Saratoga Springs. We're gonna have to park somewhere special because we got the trailer on. Hopefully we can find a good spot we can pull through. Yeah, they got lots of spaces. We had to park in the back 40 to fit this beast. It's weird because most thrifters go to Goodwill, which is a searchable term, but we go to Deseret Industries because it's like all that we have close to us and so much better than the Goodwills here. It's still pretty busy here, even though we're late. So maybe there's still some good stuff to be had. Glass aisle is always first. Look at that pretty little picture for $3. I like the base on it. These cobalt blue glasses are really pretty. I'm gonna pick these up. There's four Sunday glasses here. Looks like some more salt and pepper shakers, a dollar for the pair. Those are cute. They're like little gingerbread houses. It's a cute little milk glass cup. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm hoping to find the tea cup that goes to this. So no tea cup for this. I think I'm gonna leave this saucer here but maybe I'll find some more of those somewhere else. It's a cute little mirror. I like the chunky frame on it. $2, that's a good price. This is a cute little pedestal. It needs a paint job, but that's cute for about 50. I was like, who has that really cool pot and finial? It's a good job. Do you need a big lazy Susan? No. How much is it though? $3. Oh, it's like that MDF yeah, though. MDF. I, don't, I don't want that. If it was wood, I'd buy it. Let's see, $10, that thing's huge. I'm gonna go with that. And this is 15. I passed on a couple of these last week and I had to hear about it. Jamie's like, what? You passed on those? I like the urn on this one and this one, but I'm not quite ready for ivy and berries or holly, whatever you want to call that. And then this is kind of fall Thanksgiving. There's a fun little find of ornaments that need painted, but check this out. What do we have in here? Oh, look at this. False graph. I've never seen this. I, I mean, I bought the pottery, but I've never seen a lamp. It's got a finial, $10. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. That's cute. It's even got the lavender in it, eight bucks. I'm gonna pick it up. Look at that birdhouse. It's tall. It's only 10 bucks. This will look cute outside. Definitely, I think a new paint job, although those birds are cute. I think I'll take these like stickers off. And paint that up these are just from like hobby lobby but it, they would be cute painted and bring back that pink a dollar fifty each 
I think they can be made cuter. This was kind of buried under that Tiffany style lamp. Definitely gonna pick that for $2. It was $4 at a yard sale. <laughs> What did you just find? Oh, metal ribbon. Yep, it was all just, it was under Cute. a bunch of ornaments in a bin. I like it. You can sell it kind of as a bunch. I feel like your candlestick beats my candlestick, but this Yours was outside. This is very cool. And this was outside, and that was outside, and this is yeah, like a- I saw this, and I was like, eh, I don't know, those are those vinyl stickers. You can't sand it off? I can't. All right, so I just picked up four dolls for $35 each. I have no idea the value, so hopefully it was a good gamble. Always squat down. Look what I almost left behind. I actually didn't look down through that. Aisle. Look how cute this is. I missed it. Jamie, where'd you forget your basket at? Well, so I left my basket back here because they brought out a cart, but I didn't expect this much good stuff. You just ran to the cart? I did. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't leave it behind. So we spent twice as much at this thrift store. We went to just pick up a few extra things to round off the thrift haul. What happened? So we spent 80 and 35 oh. and 133. So we spent 168 here. So we literally yeah. spent twice as much here, but we got way more stuff. It's a three card thrift haul. We got a lot and Jamie got some creepy dolls. I think the dolls are going to be good. I'm going to look up the value when I get home. Nonetheless, if people don't want them for collector value, people will buy them around Halloween because they like to do like Victorian Halloween decor. It'll be good. We're going to take it home and we're going to pull it all out so you can see all the thrift haul. So we spent $240 on this thrift haul. I'll be sure to take some pictures and put them at the end so that way you guys can like see up close and personal. And I'm also going to show you those chairs once I finish them because I'm going to take them to the shop and get that project knocked out. Comment below though, let me know. Would you have purchased these dolls? Because people either love them or hate them. I love them. They're all 100 plus years old and they're just a part of history. In order to get this fabric off, I'm just going to use a razor blade and go along the edge and cut it off. Then I will spray it with Lysol and make sure any dust is off there and it'll be ready to cover. Hey, hopefully I don't regret this, but it looks like there's just enough if I cut it in half that I can get two cushions out of this one length of fabric. These curtains did have a stain on them. If you guys have curtains that have a stain or whatever and you do upholstery and you like the fabric, just save them for other jobs. I've laid out my fabric. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure I like the design, that it's going the correct way. This is the back, this is the front. So when you look at it, it won't be upside down. It will have some extra fabric to trim off, but it'll work. I'm using my battery operated nail gun. You can use a handheld one, you can use a plug-in. We just like to use 3 8 inch staples. And this is a Milwaukee. It is an expensive tool. So don't feel like you have to have one of these. A handheld staple gun will work just fine. One chair down, all I have to do is just wipe it off and take the price tag, one chair to go. Here are the beautiful completed chairs. I paid $15 each. The fabric was a free old curtain that I got from my friend Sandy. They will be $149.95 in the shop and $495 with shipping on the website. We lucked out today and we were able to find all of this at two thrift stores. Usually to get this much stuff, we're three, four, five thrift stores and today, it was just real quick, one, two stores didn't quite find enough at the first one, found a ton at the second one. I'm gonna call it like a one-two punch. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to shop along, everything goes live 8.30 Mountain Time on Saturday following the thrift video. And if you have questions, come below. Can't even talk, comment below. Here, start if you okay. have questions. If you have questions, comment below. And if you like this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away